Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how you can implement selection sort algorithm in MATLAB. Before I proceed, I will quickly try to explain what the selection sort means. So you can see in this Wikipedia image that what does it take, what it does is it takes the numbers one by one and form the sorted array like this. Or we can also see this uh, image over here on the right hand side. So if you see what it does is it takes the number one by one and f finds the uh, it selects the number one by one and then put it at the right place in the list. So it, it is just forming the list one by one. So let's try to implement this. So let's create a new MATLAB function called and name it as selection sort. We will have an input argument of x and then output argument of y we won't have anything else as of now and what we'll do is we'll just save this as here so to proceed to start first let's take the length the count of the number of elements which we have in the input elements which is x over here okay once we have it then So we can start for i equal to 1 to n. So over here we are taking one by one all the elements of x. So we will start with the first element and initially we will assume our minimum index. The place where this the minimum number in this length is at the first position. So one by one, so basically in selection sort what happens is we have to scan this complete series of number for the smallest number and then we have to put it in the uh, start of that uh, array so initially we are starting with the first element and we are assuming that is the smallest that index is the smallest the first index and in the second loop you now we scan rest of the uh, array which is we just start from i plus one because the first one we are anyway taking as the smallest so i think instead of I, one we can take it i over here i plus one up to n and now inside this we have to just compare whether if uh, which is lower if uh, the x of minimum index if this is greater than x of j then our minimum index changes to basically j and 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 once we are done this then we have to do is do is the swapping part so swapping part we will do so we have to do the swap here but before doing swap we may it's always better to compare whether this minimum index is something different as the i because if it's sa same as i there is no point doing the swapping uh, over here so we'll just compare it whether it's different from i because we are if this uh, if line number six is true and if nothing happens here that means the ith element is the smallest element and no point of swapping the element with its own element but if this is not equal to i then what we can do is we can do temp equal to v now we have to swap uh, the ith element uh, with this uh, index this index element so we will swap is We'll take it as minimum index and then probably we can copy this part x of i and then we can have x of I equal to temp and I end this for loop as well. Yeah. Okay, so once we have done this, so if you notice in our um, this MATLAB function, the output we are giving is as y and not as x. So at the end, probably before we end this function, we have to just assign y equal to x, nothing more. I think this is all. This should work. So let's try this algorithm on one of our uh, sample tests so v equal to this is a 
<coughs> array which I have used in my other videos as well. So I am taking a uh, array of random numbers and let's see if our selection sort is able to uh, implement this correctly. So we are passing via our input argument. Whatever. So if you see, we just I just selected a random numbers uh, array and I just passed it as an argument to my selection sort algorithm which I wrote just above and it's able to sort it out. We can just try to debug and see if what is happening. So it is a breakpoint I can do n. So my n is over here 11 which is of course 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 11. And 11 times it will go through this loop in, and each time it will what the algorithm will do is first it will pick the first number and it will see no it won't it will of course it will assume that the first number is a minimum number but it will try to find the which is the minimum minimum number in this array and whenever the, it gets the minimum number it will shift it to the first position and then same thing it will start from the second position so in the first instance it will swap 0 and 5 then in the second instance probably it will swap between 1 and 2 then in this uh, second, third instance it will swap 2 and 4 because 2 will shift over here so something like that it will happen so if you debug this and then you can see visualize this thing so uh, probably probably I can put a breakpoint here and just to continue so if I print a x now so yeah you see so 0 has come here and uh, So, so this swapping happened between 0 and 5 if you have noticed here this 5 came here and, and 0 came here so if you compare with this one which is my original v yeah so I, I hope it's, it, uh, you are able to figure out what I am trying to say over here and so same thing we can try with some other probably some other uh, uh, array as well so I will take another array of uh, view v u equal to this one so i'm taking a <coughs> random numbers again which is like a combination of rational irrational and negative numbers and again i used my uh, this function selection sort and pass you as an input argument bravo that's it so this is also being sorted out okay so that's all i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions please put it in my comment section and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.